I am Bishop Gerald John Mathias, Bishop of Lucknow in North India. Lucknow is the capital of the largest state in India, Uttar Pradesh. And I am here along with about 38 other bishops for the Ard Limina visit. I was with the first batch of the Indian bishops to come for the Ard Limina visit. And we are very happy to be here visiting on the second day of our Ard Limina visit visiting the dicastery of laity, family and life. We are quite impressed about the Cardinal, Cardinal Farrell's address to us, a message of great hope in spite of the various challenges or problems that we face in our own country. He gave us hope that we must take little by little, one family or one individual at a time, in catechizing, in bringing a change, in empowering the laity, promoting family values or protection of the dignity of human life. In India, unfortunately, there is now growing erosion of moral values, family values. Earlier, the family was a very close-knit unit. There was a joint family, many members living together in peace and harmony. But now, because of the erosion of moral values, there are so many problems. There are broken families, divorces are on the increase, annulments are on the increase, and uh, there is also widespread practice of contraception and family planning. And the worst of all, large-scale, rampant practice of abortion. And among the abortion, there is what we call selective abortion of girl children, female feticide. And it goes into millions. They say roughly about 15 to 16 million abortions take place in India alone. That amounts to about 10 to 12 percent of the world's abortions. And most of them, unfortunately, sadly, are female feticide because there is a mindset uh, of anti-girl child because girl is considered in the Indian situation in general in the society as a burden to the family because while giving the girl in marriage she has to give a, or the family has to give a big huge dowry and they cannot afford that so they try to eliminate a future problem by uh, eliminating the girl children so some, they may tolerate one child, one girl child, some of them don't want at all, they want only boys. And this has influenced also the Catholics, although it's a general uh, culture in the country, but Catholics also practice widespread contraception and family planning, including abortion. And um, there are other challenges. Now, the government has uh, not only legalized abortion, but also passive euthanasia is legalized. They have also decriminalized the homosexuality. That means allowing the consenting adults to just have sex, homosexual relations and so on. Also, surrogacy is legalized. Um, in vitro fertilization is legalized. So, similar, so many things are uh, legalized by the government and then for us the Catholics to have any contrary view and also teach of course to, we can teach our Catholics we do teach our Catholics what is the right thing because the church is teaching but then when it comes to larger uh, society the Hindus particularly then it becomes very difficult to convince them of what the church is teaching so I would like to thank the Dicastery for giving us this time to share our views, share our apostolate, what we are doing for the laity, for the family and promotion of life. And we were very happy to interact with the Cardinal and other staff members of the Dicastery. Thank you very much.